Jets against the Giants. Jets end up winning. Uh, the Giants have lost six in a row going into a bye week. They looked awful. Uh, Daniel Jones didn't look awful, but the rest of the team did. Their offensive line is a mess. Uh, their defense doesn't click at all. And also, I'm, can I just add to that? Daniel Jones didn't look awful and he threw four touchdowns, but he still made the killer mistake that has been his Achilles heel. Yes. Oh. Well, the, but Jamal Adams stripped the ball and took it, but they still did come back to take a lead after that. Yes. So well, there's a couple of things at play here. All right. One is correctable. One might be a little worrisome. Their defense is god awful. I mean, the Jets' offense couldn't do anything all year, and they're just going right down the field on the Giants, converting on third down. Same old story with the Giants' defense, right? Can't get off the field on third down. Can't come up with a big stop when your offense does something. So there's a clear problem defensively. And I would be open to, Michael, I'm never one to want to see a coach, a head coach fired during the season. If you want your pound of flesh, Giant fans, if the Giants want to send a message, I'd fire Betcher. I can't see him surviving into next year anyway. Their defense is god-awful. Now, do they have a ton of talent on, on defense? Probably not, but it should be better than this because that's a lousy Jets offense. Let's be honest. That has been good all year. And maybe just move the ball at will at times in that game, especially in the first and fourth quarter. Saquon Barkley had 13 carries for one yard. Not good. That's not what you want. I mean, this is not him. I mean, you could you could debate whether or not they should have taken him with the second pick of the draft, but you know that he is an extraordinary talent. Well, that's why I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and feel like that he must be hurt. Has to be. So let's extrapolate that out. If he's hurt to the point where he gets one yard rushing, if he's hurt to the point where he can't block, then Shermer must be in trouble. Because what's he playing him for? Get him out of there. Gallman could do a better job blocking, he, at least. He, he brought Gallman in in passing situations. Uh, and then you take Saquon's threat out. So it's it's kind of odd the way they ran but, it. But the fact that he came back early from the, from the high ankle sprain and he has not been effective since he came back and continues to play, what, what is Shermer doing? Is he just giving his running back the wish of playing? Or is he so desperate to win games because he thinks he's going to get fired that he doesn't want to bench one let, of his let, better players? Let's say he is, but if this player is going to get one yard on 13 carries, he's not helping his uh, not at all his chance to win. So there, there's so many layers to this, and you know Sam Darnold, who we'll talk to at 5:30, came out and said, you know, we still have a chance to make the playoffs. Now technically they do, but that's kind of pie in the sky. They have some bad teams coming up, but they also have the Raiders coming up, who are now half game out. They're a half game behind the Rams, so it, it, things are not going that well. No, so they, they, they have, listen, the next game is winnable against the Redskins. They got the Dolphins again at home, Cincinnati. So they got some games that they need to win, but if you play the way they played yesterday, right, Michael? I Did would I say behind the Rams? Behind the Rams. Um, the Raiders are behind the Chiefs. The Chiefs. The Chiefs that, are yeah, struggling. Yeah.